Hi, uh, my name is Steve Sloka. Um, I'm one of the maintainers of Contour, and today I wanted to give you a quick overview of how blue-green deployments can work with Contour. Um, I also want to give you, to start out, uh, again, a 30-second overview of how Contour looks and works. Uh, we'll discuss how Ingress Route works. Ingress Route is a custom CRD, custom resource definition that we've developed uh, that will help us uh, kind of extend the functionality of how Ingress works today in a Kubernetes cluster. Um, and then we'll look at two ways to de uh, deploy uh, or apply a blue-green deployment. One way we'll be using delegation with our ingress route, and the other way we'll be using uh, shift weight shifting within the ingress route as well. So let's go ahead and dig in. Uh, so Contour is an ingress controller for Kubernetes. Uh, it leverages Envoy as the data plane proxy, so all data traffic is going to route through Envoy. Um, in uh, Contour, again, is an ingress controller, so it does a watch on the Kubernetes API, and it looks for all... Uh, resources that it needs to, to watch. So things like services, endpoints, um, secrets, and ingress resources. When it sees any of those change, it'll go ahead and build a new configuration in memory, and then it'll stream those changes down to Envoy over a gRPC connection. Uh, so Envoy and Contour talk through gRPC. Um, Contour is the XDS server, and Envoy is the client. So Envoy is going to look to Contour for all of its configuration items. So when a request comes in from the internet, it's going to get routed to some sort of load balancer. This could be some cloud load balancer. This could be some sort of on-premise um, system. This would also be a way that we can just drive traffic to Envoy. It doesn't matter how we get there. We have to just drive traffic to, to an instance of Envoy. Once Envoy gets it, it's, going to, it's an L7, L4 proxy. So it's going to take that request, uh, determine where it should go, and then route it to somewhere within the cluster. Uh, so ingress route. So ingress route, again, is a custom resource definition. Uh, it has a few goals. So the main goal was to help um, support multi-team Kubernetes clusters. So you've got multiple users, different teams throughout the, the cluster wanting to self-manage their own resources. Um, the, so that, that there's issues today where um, teams can take down production clusters if they write conflicting records. Um, and this is aims to help solve some of those issues. Um, we do this through a thing called delegation. Um, and the next slide will describe it a little further, but um, delegation is a way that we can pass authority off to other ingress resources. Uh, we also want to provide a sensible home for common configuration parameters uh, and do this without adding more annotations to our service. So things like service weighting and load balancing and other things. Give them a, a proper home within the spec. So what is blue-green? So blue-green is a deployment methodology. It's a way that you can basically route traffic from one version to another. Um, so this example, containerc.com, is my fully qualified domain name, and it's going to receive traffic, and we're going to configure it to send traffic to the blue service. So within my cluster, I have a blue service that's handling the production traffic today. What I want to do is go build my new version, engineer it, you know, do my testing, do all those sort of things, and then I'll deploy that as the green version, so the new version 2. Once that's up and running, I can you know, do my own smoke tests on that within the cluster. I can see how it looks and performs, and if I'm happy with it, what I'll do is I'll remove traffic from blue, and I'll swap it over to green. And we'll do this instantaneously. We'll do it all at once. Then, then once this happens, then basically my new version is deployed and everything's great. Um, if I find issues, I can always reverse that scenario and just swap it back to blue. You know, should I find some sort of production issue or some sort of problem, I can always go back to the, to the last working version. Um, so that's the idea of how we're going to apply these blue-green deployments. Um, benefits of this are that you can um, support applications that maybe can't manage two versions at the same time. So maybe your app just can't handle having you know version one and version two running concurrently. Uh, maybe you have some sort of dependency on another, another resource, like a database or something. Um, you've got to run database migrations. So uh, it may not be possible to run you know a canary-type deployment. Uh, so let's go ahead and dig in and see how Ingress Route can help solve this for us. So Ingress Route uses this thing called delegation. Um, and delegation follows the model of how DNS works. So DNS says, hey, if I go buy a domain name, so if I buy VMware.com, I own the domain name. And then I can give that authority for that domain name to a DNS server. And once that DNS server has authority, it can do whatever it wants with it. It can dish out any kind of you know, path or portion of that, of, that, um, of that domain. If I want, I could take a piece of that domain and I can give authority to that to a different server. Right? When I carve off that piece, that new server now has permissions on that one spec. This is how delegation is going to work. So delegation is going to say, hey, I have this root, this root ingress route, which is vmware.com, and we're going to carve off a path. So in this case, it's slash blog. This could be a path. This could be a subdomain, however you want to carve it out. But by giving this authority, this, now, this ingress route here, which is actually in a different namespace, this blog namespace, um, it, it has authority over slash blog. So it can do whatever it wants with it. Now, if someone else comes along, 
you know, willingly or, unwilling, or unknowingly, uh, goes ahead and creates this slash blog for the same domain name, a typical ingress today, this could cause an issue, right? So who wins? Because they're both defining the same domain name with the same path. Uh, well, with ingress route, this, this basically can't happen. Because this other ingress route does not have authority, nothing's going to change. No one's delegating to it. Cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this looks. So um, I have a Kubernetes cluster running out here, um, and I have containersteve.com. So this is the root. So what we can do is let's go ahead and take a look at um, all my ingress routes. And you can see I have three right now. So let's ignore the first two. These are from my, my monitoring and metrics. But what I have here is my root. So I have this root blog. And you can see it's containersteve.com. And it's using a TLS secret. So we're going to terminate TLS there. And the route is slash. So all routes are going to are going to ha ha hit here. So if I enter, you know, slash blog slash C sloka, right? Everything is going to get here because, whoops, because it has full permissions to the whole, the whole path, all domain, all paths, so slash. So let's go ahead and deploy um, an application. So what I have is I have this marketing team. And the marketing team came to me and says, hey, I want to go deploy uh, my own app. And what they have is they have a, a marketing namespace. So if I get my um, namespaces, you can see I have this marketing one. And this is where the marketing team is going to deploy their application. So what we'll do is we, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll pass delegation off to the marketing team. So if we come down here, we'll just pull this up. And what we'll do is we'll we'll give delegation to this team. So we'll say, hey, marketing team, so namespace marketing, go create a, an ingress route called blog, and we'll delegate this to you. And you'll you'll get the path slash blog. So what I can do is I can go ahead and apply this. So if I apply my root, um, oops, I'm in the wrong space. Cool. So now we'll apply that root. Now what should happen, right? Nothing is going to happen. <laughs> I'll answer my own question. So we, we've delegated slash blog, but no one's fulfilling that request yet. So the root still owns it because we haven't created the other end yet. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create that. So I have this blog one here. So now what we'll do is we'll look at um, the marketing team. So here's the marketing namespace, and it's called blog. And here's our path slash blog. And they're going to say, hey, let's just send this to the blue service. right? So let's go ahead and deploy this. So we will go ahead and control apply and we'll apply the blog.ingress route. So now if we go ahead and get our ingress routes, we'll see a new one here. See this marketing one? And this first route is slash blog and it's valid. So now what should happen is if we come here and we refresh this, now we get the marketing blog, right? So here's the blog website. If I go back to my root, it should still be the root. So there's are two different places now we're handling this. The root owns slash and now blog owns slash blog. Now, because we delegated slash blog to this user, if I go to slash Steve slash Sloka again, like we did before, marketing team now owns that, right? Because we've delegated off slash blog to them. So they own everything after that path, unless we do a further delegation somewhere else. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and do our blue green deployment. So we want to go and spin up our other service. So in our, um, our marketing namespace, we have a green service. Uh, we get all our services in namespace marketing. See, we have our green one. It's already up and running. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and apply our green ingress route. And that's this one. Right, and this is going to be called blog2. So what we'll go ahead is we'll apply this one. This is blog2. Great. Now, if we go ahead and get our ingress routes again, we'll see we have another one. And now here's two of them in the marketing space, namespace. Now, what we'll see is this blog two is, is status is orphaned, right? It says this ingress route is not part of a delegation chain from a root. So what this means is that no one's delegating to this blog two, which is actually what we want, right? So if you look at our, our, our application, it's still the marketing blog and everything's fine. But because we haven't delegated to it, um, it's showing that it's, it's you know, invalid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leverage this idea of this delegation chain to implement our blue green deployment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna swap the delegation from blue to green in our root here. So we'll go ahead and say, let's go from blog to blog two. And what we'll do is we'll now delegate to blog two, which is our green deployment, and we'll take off the delegation from the blue one. And what that'll do is it'll instantly send traffic from blue all the way to green. So the next request coming in will be on the green. Great, so let's go ahead and let's see if we can visualize this a little better. Um, so let's do, uh, if I can do a while loop. So we'll hit the slash blog 
every 0.1 seconds. This will help us just kind of visualize this. Great. And now what we'll do is we already updated our website, our root, to be blog2. And we'll apply this. So if we go ahead and kube control apply dash f, and we'll apply the uh, ink, the root. Now, as soon as I hit enter, we're again we're going to shift the, the delegation chain from blue to green. And you can see now here instantly the the green one is now getting all the traffic. Now, if we watch our metrics, we watch all of our stuff and go, no, we're seeing a, you know a spike in errors or a, or a high latency coming out of it. We can see something's wrong, and we can swap back if we want to. So again, we'll just change this delegation chain back to blue. And we'll just reapply this. And you'll see this go back to green or blue. I'm sorry. Cool. So that's how delegation can help you do this. Now the other way we can do this is we can do this with a um, with waiting. Uh, so what we can do is um, pass off. So right now we're delegating to blue, right? What we'll do is we'll go down here to our, our blue one and we'll add a second service. So one of the features of Ingress Route is we can have multiple upstreams. So here I can say this one service gets multiple. Um, multiple you know, back-end upstream services. So if I go ahead and apply this, um, this one, we'll apply the blog. And what happens now is that we've said, hey, both applications get traffic. And this is kind of how we'd implement a Canary deployment. And what you'll see is I'll, I'll get, I should get just about half and half traffic. It's never gonna be 100% consistent, uh, but about each one's getting about the same amount of traffic. Uh, but what I can do now is I can add weights. So I can add weight here. And I can say, hey, blue gets 100% of the traffic or 100 points. These weights are all arbitrary. And I can say green gets nothing, right? So then if I go ahead and apply this, what should happen is, is blue should get all the traffic, right? We've defined two upstreams, but only given enough weight for blue to get that traffic. Now, if I want to go ahead and do a blue green deployment in this model, I'll just swap my weights. I'll give blue zero and I'll give green 100. And essentially I'm doing the same thing that I did with delegation, but we're doing it with waiting. So if I apply this, now instantly the green one gets all the traffic. Cool. So that's all I have. So I thank you for your time. Um, come find us at Project Contour, um, or Contour in the Kubernetes Slack, and we're Project Contour on, on Twitter. Thank you very much.